So Marvel Spider-Man 2 is finally coming on PC in January of 2025. Now this is fantastic news for the players who haven't experienced the game. But there is a side note unfortunately. The lack of additional content for those of us who've already completed it, well it's a huge disappointment. Now don't get me wrong, I'm super glad for that the PC players will be able to swing through New York and enjoy the thrilling action. But as someone who has already played the game on PlayStation 5 and even earned the Platinum Trophy, I myself felt feeling that the overall package is incomplete. Now, I want to clarify why I'm even bringing this up. Because in the PlayStation Blog article, there's been an explicit mention from Insomniac themselves that unfortunately Spider-Man 2 shall not get any additional content, meaning basically there will be no DLCs. Spider-Man 2 was a fantastic experience, no doubt about that. The combat was fluid, the traversal mechanics were better than ever, the inclusion of Venom and Kraven is a major villain as the major villains made for some of the serious memorable moments. But despite all that, the game felt much, much too short, especially when compared to the predecessor. Marvel Spider-Man, the 2018 version, the process of earning a platinum trophy, which is usually a long-term challenge in many games was completed by far far too quick and that only reinforced my feelings that the game lacked the depth and longevity that I hoped for within the Spider-Man 2. One of the biggest reasons for this disappointment is the decision by Insomnia Games not to release any of the extra DLCs or additional story content for Spider-Man 2. Insomnia confirmed this by stating, while we have no additional story content planned for Marvel Spider-Man 2, we're delighted to bring all of our previous releases uh, post-launch content to the PC version, including new Game Plus mode, new suits, and new color variants. While it's nice that PC players will get these features, it is frustrating for those of us who have expected more from the game's narrative and the world. When you compare the Spider-Man 2 to Marvel Spider-Man, the 2018 version, the difference in post-launch support is, well, it's quite glaring. Spider-Man 2018 not only had a longer and more complex main campaign, but it also received multiple DLC expansions that added substantial new content to the game. These expansions, like The City That Never Sleeps, introduced new villains, missions, and storyline, which kept players engaged for months after the game's release. The world of Spider-Man 2018 felt alive and expansive, with plenty of extra content to explore long after you have finished the main game. In contrast, Spider-Man 2 feels like it's missing that crucial post-launch support. The game is ripe for the additional content, especially considering the rich world and, and roster of characters that Insomniac has built. The decision not to develop DLC for Spider-Man 2 feels like a bad call, especially when you think about how much potential there is for further stories. For example, we know that Insomniac was working on the potential DLC for Spider-Man 2, but those plans seem to have been scrapped. It's hard not to feel frustrated knowing that could have been more content on Horizon, but now it's never gonna happen. What makes this even more frustrating is that Spider-Man 2 doesn't just feel short, it feels unfinished in certain areas. One of the biggest issues is that some of the game's side missions, like one involving Carnage, didn't get a satisfying conclusion. Carnage is a major villain in Spider-Man universe, and his presence in the game had such so much potential. But instead of proper resolution, the mission involving him ends on a cliffhanger, leaving players wondering, well, what's next? The sad part about this is, well, we are now left to wait potentially four years for the conclusion of those sorts of storylines, which could be addressed in the future games. The absence of DLC only makes these unresolved storylines feel worse. In Spider-Man 2018, the post-launch expansion provided closure and additional content that enhances the main game. In Spider-Man 2, we're left with incomplete side missions and loose ends. These cliffhangers are a big reason why the game didn't feel like a full package to me. It's not that the content we got wasn't good, oh my goodness, it was fantastic, but there was so much more potential that now feels wasted. The lack of DLC means that we are left with a shorter, more condensed experience that doesn't live up to the scale of the 2018's game in my opinion. One glimmer of hope for the fans is possibility of for a future standalone expansion, similar like we've seen with Marvel Spider-Man Miles Morales. Now the game has released as a shorter standalone title that build on the foundations of the Spider-Man 2018, and it provided a great experience that complemented the main game. It's possible that Insomnia could do something similar with Spider-Man 2, perhaps releasing a standalone expansion focused on a different character, maybe your storyline. However, for now, there's no confirmation that this will actually happen. 
and we're left wondering if Spider-Man 2 will ever receive this kind of additional content it, that it deserves. Adding to the speculations there is the fact that the data miners found evidence on the unreleased content in the previous updates. After 1.002 patch for Spider-Man 2 released, like at the beginning of the year, players uncovered a developer menu that pointed to missions involving a longtime Spider-Man villain, Beetle. This discovery has led to rumors that there was content planned around Beetle that hasn't been released yet. While Insomniac hasn't confirmed it if a Beetle DLC is on the way, it's clear that some work has been done on this character. There's also a possibility that this scrap DLC content could find its way to the rumored Venom spin-off, maybe? There has been talk that a standalone Venom game could be in a development, and it's possible that some of the content originally planned for Spider-Man 2 could be repurposed for that project. While this would be quite exciting, it doesn't change the fact that the decision to leave Spider-Man 2 without DLC weakens the overall package. The game had so much potential for further stories and missions, and a lack of post-launch support makes it feel like a step backwards compared to the Spider-Man 2018. In conclusion, while Spider-Man 2 was an amazing experience, the lack of DLC and the unresolved storyline leave a lot to be desired. The game feels too darn short. That is also including getting that platinum trophy, it is still too short. It's just that without the promise of future expansions, it just doesn't live up to the standards set by its predecessor. I'm hopeful that we might get a maybe standalone expansion in the future or that the rumored Venom spin-off will deliver on the unused content. But for now, it's hard not to feel disappointed. Spider-Man 2 had a potential to be something much bigger. And it's frustrating that Insomniac didn't take the opportunity to expand on what, what they have already built. Nevertheless, tell me down in the comments as well, what do you feel about this news? Like, are you excited for the PC version of Spider-Man 2? Are you disappointed with the, that there will be no DLCs releasing for Spider-Man 2? What about the expansions or maybe what about the standalone experience? Other than that, seems like the next road for the Insomniac shall be Marvel's Wolverine. Thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe. See you guys all and have a wonderful day. Pete, you seeing this? Oh no. Miles, are you finally ready to join us? Come on, Miles! We need to hurry! Harry! We promise to protect this city! Yes! Come! Finish what you started! We're going.